What is going on, everybody? Z here, and welcome back to Grounded. Now, if you joined us for the first time ever, we've been playing Grounded. It's a fantastically good time. Maybe you should consider subscribing and liking the video. If not, welcome, welcome. So basically, I wanted to make a quick video. I think it's gonna be quick. I don't know. I've never actually tried, never actually tested this. So, uh, I want to make a quick video over how to possibly kill the wolf spider easily in the beginning so i'm starting a brand new game here medium difficulty uh we could do mild or woe or creative i don't know but we're gonna go with medium difficulty i'm gonna hop into a brand new fresh game and i believe this should work i believe this should work and uh yes so thank you again for coming out hopefully you're having a fantastic day so basically it seems like every game i've played everybody i've joined every everything i've played there's this one specific way to kill a wolf spider now i want to try this from the very beginning so uh you guys can see like how easy it possibly is and uh how how non-difficult it is hopefully gonna be okay so i want to go through and i want to grab some stuff um i want to get a bow as quick as i can so let's go in here let's go ahead and analyze that guy um i'm trying to actually remember what i need for a standard bow uh switch a spike okay there's that we're gonna need a pebblet probably because we're gonna need an axe and a pebblet axe fantastic and let's go ahead and research that as well so i think we need to get the axe because i think you need spider webs if i'm not mistaken maybe it's woven fiber i i honestly don't remember for sure so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna make up a couple of woven fiber because i'm gonna need an axe probably regardless so there's that uh darn it i need more woven fiber all right we got an axe we're doing good we're doing good uh do we have anything yet no i think i need the woven fiber okay so i need to find i think it's spider silk i think it's spider silk for the uh for the bow again not positive hey what's up little dude oh you're bringing me a little snack that's so nice of you all right uh we got to take out some mites because we need the mite fuzz for the arrows yeah it's huge it's absolutely amazingly fantastic we're not going to pay attention to it though because we're hurrying we're trying to do this from the beginning as quickly as we can all righty okay we got the sprig bow whoa oh it was nat fuzz it was nat fuzz okay but we need more nat fuzz uh perfect and i think we need like five of them come here bud stop it where'd you go where'd you go come here yeah you're done you're done son all right, perfect. Okay, so tools, sprig bow, fantastic. Now we need arrows, and we need a lot of arrows. So uh, we're going to have to grab a whole bunch of mites on the way, and actually this is convenient because the first mission that you have is to go and uh, to fix this thing. So I'm going to go ahead and push that button. Fantastic. It's going to tell me to go over here to fix this thing, but that's going to take you to a bunch of gnats or a bunch of mites, and these mites are going to give you mite fuzz, which you need for arrows. And like I said, we're going to need like 60 or 70 arrows. We're going to need quite a few um, for, from the beginning. Hello, little mite buddies. I'm going to have to, don't mind me. I'm just going to take you out, take your fuzz. Gosh, there's a lot of these little buggers. That's fantastic, though. I love it. Okay, so we're going to run into the cave right here, get some more mites. What's up, dudes? Taking you out, no problemo. Dun, 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 dun. let's see uh we have how much my fuzz do we have in total 12 that's 60 arrows and that's 14 that should be 70 and that should be 80 arrows that should be 80 arrows also while you're down here there is a well there is a scab thing i think it's back there okay so we have the stuff we need now we gotta get the thistles and to get the thistles, we're going to go over to a specific area because they're right next to the area we're going to anyways. So the mission's going to have you go towards the oak tree eventually. So we're going to make our way over here towards the oak tree. Oak tree is this big, gigantic, like pinky purpley thing. So I'm just going to head over there right now. Um, I'm not going to do anything mission related because like I said, I just want to, I want to show you guys how maybe if you're just getting into the game, how you can take out the, um, the wolf spider fairly easy and get on your way to getting the best stuff in the game so the best bow in the game is hands down the insect bow it's going to help your life out a lot when it comes to other big bugs as well um and then the the mint mallet of course is the the secondary thing that's also absolutely fantastic to get all right so we're getting to the oak tree this area is gonna look familiar because well this is where i do all of my base stuff in my let's plays so if you guys want to check those out make sure you check them out good times good stuff all right, so the thistles that we need for the arrows are actually the ones we're going to get. There's multiple thistle plants, so you don't have to go to this one specifically. However, it is right next to some wolf spiders, 
and this is right next to the area where I recommend killing said wolf spiders. So right there, there's a purple plant. So any of these purple plants with, you know, the, the thorns sticking off them, those are where you're gonna get your thistles. Now you do have to be kind of careful because sometimes over here, there is an orb weaver. There is an orb weaver right there, but I think we'll probably be okay. Um, we're kind of away from it. So just keep that in mind. All right, let's see how many arrows we can make now. So we have 16 white fuzz and we have 40 thistles. So uh, let's go ahead and that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. That should be 80 arrows that we have now, right? Yes, perfect. Okay, so now comes the fun part, taking out the wolf spiders. Now, in the trunk of this tree, there are two wolf spiders that like to uh, like to spawn in there, and they respawn. So after you take them out, uh, you wait a couple to game, couple in game days, and uh, they'll pop back up, and you take them out again. And there's a specific spot, and like I said, every game I've played, every single one, they always get stuck on a specific spot. Now, if uh, if there's updates, you know, at the time of release of this video, this is how it works. But if there's any updates or anything like that, um, ooh, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead. Let's make a lean to, just to be safe because I want to make sure we're just just in, in the event that I die because literally one hit from this guy and we'll be dead. So boom, spawn point set. All right, let's do it. Let's get this guy. I'm hoping that they're in here. I'm hoping that they've actually already spawned. Are you in here? Yes, perfect. All right. So there's Wolf Spider numero uno. And basically I'm just going to run all the way over here and hope it gets stuck right there. Every single time they stay right there so you're gonna want to bring it around this side of that right that root right there and basically you just sit here and you just take her out now once you eventually get the insect bow you're gonna be doing double damage so you're only gonna need about 30 arrows to take it out and that's super nice and we should be about good and we're about 30 well we had 70 to start with so 40 arrows to take that bad boy out and voila we have spider venom. We also have, uh, we should also have spider fangs now as well. And that's going to give us the ability to craft the insect bow, which is going to make everything so much better. But like I said, you have to have, if you go into here, you go to your workbench. Uh, it's not on there. Um, if you, uh, you have to have two spider fangs. We only got one from that. So lucky for us, guess what? There's a second wolf spider already in here. So we could repeat the process over again. All right. So one more time. I see the spiders. This is the area I'm in. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna launch an arrow and I'm gonna run. And I wanna make sure that the spider follows this direction. So I kind of swing wide a little bit and I try to jump over this and bring it around this side. Oh, you wanna stick, you wanna get stuck right there? All right, cool, man. Looks good to me. And there's wolf spider numero dos. Very easy to take it down. And that's also a reason I like to have my base right there on that stump. One, things can't get to you and two, uh, it, it makes for easy, easy, uh, wolf spider farming, grab the goodies and grab all my arrows. Make sure you pick up your arrows. They're just a pain to make. They're not, they're not fun to make. And honestly, once you, if you make like, if you make like 70 or 80 of them, uh, and once you get your spider, your insect boat, you're not going to really need that many. So then you can leave some back at your camp. You can pick them up as you go. It's really nice. It's really nice. But yeah, there you go. And if you look in the inventories, boom. Ooh, we got three spider fangs from that. Heck yes. Uh, so one of them dropped two. Ooh, so you might only have to kill one of them to take it out. I don't know, but there you go. There you have it. Fast, easy way to take out the wolf spider. Now, uh, we have to research the spider fangs in order to get the insect bow. And I do believe the insect bow, I think it, I want to say it takes, uh, I think it takes spider webs as well. And another, a quick, easy way for spider webs. Ooh, no, it takes spider chunks or, or spider glands or something like that too. So you might've taken out, take out an orb weaver. Um, but that was that was specifically for the wolf spider. So yes, thank you again for coming out Hopefully you enjoyed if you did, please don't forget to leave a like if you're new here Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more leave a comment down below. Did this help you out? Did you already know you probably already knew but if you did hopefully it helped you out and uh, yeah Thanks again for coming out. I'll see you in the next one Bye.